Do you have an older computer? Or do you just want a really nice, lightweight, and fast operating system? Well then, welcome to Lubuntu 1110 on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Ubuntu is a really nice, lightweight Linux distribution that is based on Ubuntu 11.10. The thing I like about this is it is great for running on old computers or if you just want a real quick operating system. Okay, we're going to uh, briefly uh, go into what is included with this and then we're going to try and customize this and do some really cool special effects. All right. First, in accessories, this doesn't come with a whole lot, but you can get any application that you require through the Synaptic Package Manager. This does not have the Ubuntu Software Center built into this. Simply, you have a file roller, archive manager, character map, disk utility file manager, calculator, image viewer, leaf pad, we have a terminal, and then we have XPad. All right, and in games, we have the Penguin Suite, Canfield, Free Cell, Golf, that sort of thing. In graphics, we have a document viewer. We have a, a lightweight uh, graphics manipulation and then a scanner. You have the Chromium web browser built into this. You have Pigeon for instant messaging, still feed for email, and transmission for your BitTorrent needs. And then in Office, simply at Abbey Word and Numeric with Osmo, your personal organizer. In sound and video, you have Audacious, Genome Player, uh, GovC View, that's what I'm using right now to show my camera on the screen, and then XF Burn for burning your CDs and DVDs. In system tools, you have the GW Package Installer. I love this thing. I use this uh, myself in uh, PenGuy OS, and um, it's great for installing my uh, dev packages that I download off the internet. It has printing, it has a synaptic package manager, system profiler and benchmark, task manager, time and date, update manager, users and groups. And then finally in preferences you have additional drivers. Uh, you can customize the look and feel, desktop session settings, uh, disk utility, keyboard and mouse language support, LX key map, monitor settings, uh, network connections, open box configuration manager, preferred application screen saver and software sources. Okay, you've had your overview. Now let's play with this thing. All right, first, uh, let's go ahead into accessories and pull up the terminal. You will see that this is running the Linux kernel so this is really good for running any uh, any hardware or peripherals that you may want to plug into this thing. It should support most anything. Uh, there will be a few things like my Kodak printer, but there's a fix for that. Uh, but it will pretty much uh, set up anything. I even have a TV card that I can plug into this thing and watch TV on it without even installing a driver. Throw those driver's disks away, folks unless you're still dual booting and using Windows. Okay, let's customize this thing a little bit. Now, in terms of choices, you're a little bit limited because this is not Genome. This is the LXDE user interface, but we can do a few fun things with this. Let's go into the panel settings here and let's change the appearance of our panel. I'd like to go with transparent. Do I make myself clear? So we've got a nice transparent look. I like that. We can fly with it. Okay. And then panel applets, we can add and remove things here. We've got a number of choices. Uh, this is pretty cool. I like it. Neat. And then in advanced. Uh, you'll have to play with these options a little bit because I'm not sure what they do, to be honest with you. Okay. Well, now let's see if we can get some 3D desktop effects. Now, if you leave it the way it is, middle clicking the mouse button gives you an option to go to different desktops and that sort of thing. Right clicking, of course, gives you a context menu. 
Alrighty then, let's go ahead and go into System Tools and the Synaptic Package Manager. Put in our password. And let's see if we can do some comp his fun on this thing. All right, we'll do a search for comp his. All right, we have some choices here. So why don't we go ahead and install the comp his core It wants to add that, so we'll grab that too. Why don't I try this one as well? See if it'll let me do that. The i386. Might as well get it all. Get it all. Okay. Maybe this isn't... Well, I am using a 64-bit, so we don't have to have that. All right, and Compass Fusion B Cop. Let's get that in here. Compass Fusion plugins. Oh, did I forget to mark Compass? Let's get that too. Mark Compass Plugins. Compass Plugins Main. Main Default. We'll mark those. Okay, well, that's giving us an error, so maybe we won't get that one. Uh, let's try this one, Compass Plugins Main. No, I'm not going to do any development files here. Okay, config. Compass Settings Manager will definitely need that. We'll add the Fusion icon. I know for a fact that it works in LXDE. It did not work. In Ubuntu 11.10. Okay, Compass Window Decoration Library, that's installed, but if it isn't checked, mark it. Okay, it looks like we have what we need, so we'll go ahead and apply this. All right, and this is going to install a bunch of packages. So I'm going to pause this while this downloads, and then we'll proceed to the next step after we're done. Okay, changes have been applied. Let's go ahead and close this thing. And we'll go ahead and close Synaptic 2. We really don't need that any longer. Eh got the watch here. It's wanting to reload. Well, then I'll minimize it then. <laughs> I want that out of the way. I want to start working on this thing. Uh, close that window. Thank you. Okay. Now, let's go and see what we have here in our accessories. No, was it in system tools? All right. We've got the Compiz Fusion icon. Let's click that thing. And look, there we go. We've got a nice little Compiz Fusion icon here. And let's go ahead now and in system tools and or is that preferences there we go compiz settings manager let's open this thing up and see what we got okay we have opengl gnome compatibility com uh, uh, composite and we'll enable desktop cube and rotate cube we have 3D windows enabled, and animations, animations add-on, cube reflection and deformation, fading windows, window decorations, trail focus, wobbly windows. 
Okay, and I think we can work with all of that. Okay, next, before we start running the Compiz effects, we need to make sure that Metacity is installed. So we're going to go into our package manager. I went ahead and already installed this. I'm just showing you for demonstration purposes. Then once that has been installed, you will need to either log out or restart your computer for the changes to take effect. If you do not install Metacity, what's going to happen is you'll get the 3D effects, but your taskbar will disappear. It will be a, a semi-transparent line and you won't be able to do anything with it. So you need to make sure that you have Metacity installed and you can see that I have that installed right here. Okay, now let me go ahead and shrink this window down here, if it will let me. All right, and then we are going to select the window manager as being Compiz. It may take a moment for your for your uh, window decorations to appear and for everything to operate. Let's try reloading it. Okay, well then let's switch to Metacity. Okay, we're good. Now, switch to Compiz. Hmm. Odd. Okay, well then we'll just issue it to the terminal until the ter or we'll just select run here and we will say comp is hyphen 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 replace. There we are. We are up and running and we have 3D compositing effects. Nice wobbly windows and animations to boot. Okay, cool stuff. All right, and this will be a fun little virtual machine for me to do a few other tutorials with you guys. If you thought this was useful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons, and we'll see you again next time.